Hey guys, I have a Discord server. You guys should totally join our community. I'm also really active on Twitch as well as social media, like Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. If you guys want to follow me and stay up to date with everything, check out all the links in the description down below. And I guess enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tibber here and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to do a video about how I got my entire inventory and it might actually kind of blow your mind. So you want to know how I got these skins? Well, I, I, I had to I had to walk over to the nearest street corner and beg. Lucky me, some random billionaire came up to me driving in his limousine and he said, Hey kid, get in the car. And I just, I just got in. I just hopped right in his car and we just drove around. We just drove off. We just drove off. Now what he did to me will shock you. What he did to me will blow your mind. Like you won't believe what he did to me. All right. <laughs> so when I first got in his car, he was like, so yo, good looking boy. <laughs> you look, are you a famous YouTuber? <laughs> yes. He has that accent. Shut up. <laughs> And I told him, yeah, um, he said, what do you do for your living? And I just said, hey, I'm a YouTuber. And he's like, oh, I, ooh, I hear YouTube's a pretty good thing. Oh, you know, my son, he wants to be a YouTuber, but he's just, he's just ugly as f <laughs> And he wants to be in front of the camera. I always tell him like, yo, you'll, you literally look like a, Sh you look like Shrek's ugly brother. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Why do you think you're going to be a big YouTuber? So, and we talked and talked and talked for a couple hours. He, it, didn't really make a lot of sense, but we were just kind of rambling on and on about random stuff. And then he eventually said, hey, how about if you, uh, I'll give you some skins to help you with your YouTube channel if you give me the big suck. And honestly, dude, I just, I said yes. I was so desperate at the time because I was in a really bad spot that I just said yes. And I just, I did it. I gave him the suck. Now, it wasn't an exchange for money. It was an exchange for CSGO skins. He actually had a lot of these skins in his inventory. And he was like, well, I'll give you a chance for some of the skins over for every suck you give me. <laughs> and uh, I ended up giving him several different sucks over the course of a weekend. It was a very long, long weekend. It was about four days of just pure, <laughs> it was just four days of pure suck. No, in all honesty, though, that's not how I got my skins. I'm just, that was a prank. That was a joke, by the way, guys. I'm not being serious at all. So the way that I got my entire inventory is the exact same way that every other YouTuber got their inventory, essentially through sponsorships. Uh, also a little bit through affiliates too. Uh, so the way that affiliate codes work on bidding sites is when, when somebody uses a YouTuber's code and then if they deposit, a percentage of that money actually gets thrown back to the, to the YouTuber and they can withdraw like that in the form of skins. So essentially whenever people use my code, I get a little bit of kickback based off of like how much they actually put on the site. So, I mean, obviously a lot of YouTubers have explained like how this whole process works and it's very simple. All right, let me explain this in the simplest way possible. Basically, affiliates is a big part of it. Obviously, um, it actually affiliates used to be a lot crazier before the seven day trade hold. I kind of screwed up the whole affiliate market, but, but actually in the last year or so affiliates have been down a lot, but that's why I've been working with sites for sponsor videos, basically. Basically, every single time I do a sponsor video, whether it be like hide and seek, the case openings with CSGO Etsy, or just a regular case opening like on Datrop. So when it comes to sponsorships, there's a couple there's a couple different sponsorships that I can get. There's ones where they just give me a certain amount of balance on the site and whatever I end up with at the end of the recording, that's what I get to keep. And then there's other sites that just, that we make an agreement. We agree on how much I can withdraw in advance first. And um, yeah, basically just do some betting. And if it goes really Really, really badly in those ones I could usually get a refill and try again and pretty much every single gambling youtuber does that as well like everybody who does gambling videos at least for the most part they all do that it used to be a huge in the community but gambling is kind of uh, it's not as popular as it used to be but honestly guys the biggest thing that helps me get my my current inventory is sponsorships and essentially when I work with sites they basically pay me in skins so like if I do a video for example for whatever random site so after about a year of doing all these sponsor videos and stuff I've just been able to accumulate a, a, just a really insane inventory and I just it's just it's really crazy to be in this position and I and I'm super grateful for all of you guys who have supported me over the years because you guys are the reason why I'm able to get sponsorships and it just like you guys have genuinely changed my life now let's get a couple misconceptions out of the way so when I do these sponsor videos I actually never get paid any actual money so money that I could use to like you know pay my bills or pay rent or whatever like do whatever or buy stuff with I don't get paid any of that like they basically pay me in skins now I can cash out these skins but cashing out in 2019 is kind of a hassle when OP skins was a thing, it was really easy to cash out. But because OP skins doesn't have CSGO skins anymore, it's a lot more difficult. And obviously I could cash out on bit skins, but uh, I think, I believe there's a limit about, there's a limit on how much you can withdraw 
uh, before it really becomes like a huge pain in the ass or whatever for you. Basically, my plan is I'm going to keep all my skins and then every every month or so I'll cash out a little something, you know, just to help a little bit. Uh, but honestly, though, for the most part right now in life, I'm just trying to build up the craziest inventory that I can possibly build just for fun, honestly, like just 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 because why not? I feel like because I'm a skin based YouTuber, it makes a lot of sense for me to have like a lot of skins and a lot of knives because like what if I ever want to do like a top 10 knife showcase video? I want to be able to show off all the knives in game without having to hop on a WS server. Like that's genuinely one of the reasons why I have all these skins. One of the biggest reasons why I have all these skins is so I can use them in game and show them off. Like if I, for example, if I'm doing a video on the top 10 skins, I want to have those skins in my inventory so I can show them off in game instead of just looking a little like inspect like this. I mean, for the most part that's what I do right now but I definitely in the future once I build up a crazier inventory I want to be able to do videos like that where I can actually use the skins in game and like not have to you know here let me rephrase that so basically one of the reasons why I have so many skins and so many duplicates and so many knives and stuff in CSGO and so many different pairs of gloves is so I can show off how the skins look in game you know since I'm a CSGO skin youtuber it's a really big deal for me to be able to like actually show off the skins and show you what they look like and I'm super against using skin changers of any kind so I'm not going to use a skin changer for any reason so it's kind of a stupid way to do it where I'm literally trying to go for every single skin in the game <laughs> I also play a lot of CSGO too so it makes sense to have a lot of play skins as well and genuinely like one of the biggest reasons why I have all these skins is also because it's a part of my identity. It's a part of it's a part of why people know me. Yeah, it's kind of a complicated question, but that's pretty much it. That's how I got my entire inventory, mainly pretty much exclusively through sponsorships. And right now, my goal is just to try to build up the craziest inventory possible just so I'm covered for if I want to do any sort of skin related video, I want to be able to have that skin to show it off in game to show what it looks like. And I want to have like a bunch of gloves, too, so I can show what they look like with different gloves. Like, so I'm not just hoarding skins for literally no reason. No, <laughs> I'm hoarding skins because it'll help me with my videos. That's one of the main reasons why I refuse to sell my skins. It's a pretty big part of my YouTube channel. And basically, I hope you guys understand. <laughs> also, every once in a while too on Twitch, like people donate skins and I that is super greatly appreciated. So yeah, I have had some people donate skins in the past and I always like thank them and I should, you know, I'm always grateful whenever people do that. There's also another question that I want to answer this video too because it gets asked a lot. I guess I'll use this video as a place for me to answer a lot of your, uh, I guess, frequently asked questions so you guys know the deal. A lot of people ask me, hey, hey Turbo, why don't you do giveaways? You have so many knives and so many skins. You could you can do more giveaways, bro. And one of the main reasons why I don't do giveaways is because I want to make content that people genuinely want to watch. Like I want to make like high quality entertaining content or educational content or whatever the video of the day is. And I want people to be subscribed because they actually enjoy the content not because i'm like doing a stupid little giveaway in my opinion i think doing giveaways can it, it obviously can help you in some ways but for the most part uh, it mostly just brings in bots and giveaway hunters i don't really want an audience of people who are just looking for free handouts and i, I just don't want subscribers who are just going to be constantly begging me for stuff like i want people to watch my videos because they actually enjoy the content that i put out obviously i do want to do some giveaways in the future but i want to wait until i'm in a, a slightly better spot uh because right now like in in terms of like my whole financial situation, it's a little rough right now. Obviously, I'm not struggling. I'm not going to go homeless tomorrow, but like I got some money saved. I'm fine for a little bit, but the, the amount of actual money, the, the amount of actual cash that I make every single month from YouTube and Twitch is not very high. Yeah, actually, most months, I don't even really make enough money to really pay my bills. I'm just mostly living off of like money that I have saved. I mean, but this channel is relatively new. I've only been uploading for about two months now, and the channel is growing really fast. So I think at some point we're going to get to a point where it's gonna get a lot better for me and I'll be able to do like cooler stuff because trust me I would love to do giveaways every once in a while but like eh. and I just don't want inactive subs I want people to watch the content that I put out but I feel like if I did too many giveaways it would pro it would hurt the channel in a huge way also there's a lot of people who have actually built their audiences based off of just giveaways and just doing giveaways isn't really the best way to build up an audience that is gonna support you after the giveaway is over but I actually do have a couple giveaways planned in the future uh, obviously the m9 bayonet crimson web we are gonna be giving this away on Twitch as soon as we get partnered. The problem is I don't know if we're ever going to be able to get partnered because it is uh, very difficult. Uh, essentially, the requirements are, um, well, I meet all the requirements except for the amount of viewers. To get partnered on Twitch, you need to get on average 75 viewers a stream. 
and at the moment we're lucky to get maybe 20 <laughs> so it's gonna be a while before we do that but i was planning on basically trading this on cs money for a couple cheaper skins and then just giving away a couple different knives to the community like you know to kind of celebrate so that's the one giveaway that i had planned but i don't other than that though i don't really have anything else really planned for the future maybe when we hit like 50k subs on youtube i'll do something kind of cool i'll do like a little knife giveaway to kind of thank you guys for 50k subs but for the most part i'm just instead of focusing on like just doing giveaways to try to like bait people into watching i just i want to make actual high quality content that people genuinely want to watch yeah i've repeated myself like a billion times but i hope i explained myself and i hope you guys know now how i got my entire inventory it's very simple basically just sponsorships so if you guys enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe click that bell icon and if you watch the video all the way until the end leave a comment saying hashtag dang turbo now i know how you got your inventory lol xd <laughs> and if you do that i'll do my best to try to give you guys a heart and uh, i guess just overall thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for the support on the channel like honestly the only reason why i'm in the position that i'm in and the only reason why i have my skins and my inventory is because of your guys' support so honestly i can't thank you guys enough seriously like from the bottom of my heart i'm glad you guys like the content and i'm glad you continue to support me I, like i it's kind of mind-blowing how amazing you guys are anyways guys thank you so much for watching it's turbo and i'm out peace